Hello. I want to give you a review of some uh, frames for, from uh, uh, the Dayton company uh, for, for a Langstrop uh, Beehive. They uh, look like this. And I ordered a, a, a pack of them last year. They come in a, a pack of 10. They must have been the, the uh, select premium ones because they were really nice. They, they fit uh, really tight. And I was really impressed with them. So, so I ordered a case of 100 this year. And when I started uh, uh, trying to put them together, uh, all the cuts in them were uh, uh, really sloppy. Um, I got one over here. I'll, I'll show it to you. This end right right here is fairly firm. But this end over, over here, uh, I, I mean, there's a, there's a crack right down in here, a gap. You can put a credit card down in there. Uh, to fill the gap. I mean, the glue's not going to hold it if, if uh, the wood doesn't touch together. And, and I'm uh, pretty uh, displeased with the workmanship that, that come in this uh, set of frames. And the second issue I had is this groove is cut so deep that, that when you pop a staple in it, it breaks the wood. I don't, I don't know why these people think I'm going to sit, sit here like a... Uh, uh, Herbie in that Christmas story uh, singing, I wish I was a dentist working in the toy shop with a little Chucky hammer when I can use a power stapler and get the work done quickly. But then the power staple, stapler breaks the uh, wood because they, they cut the wood so deep that, that no fastener is going to hold it properly. Um, their book right here says their machine assembled right here somewhere and if these pieces are uh, cut by a machine uh, they, they need to set their machine up properly because uh, the cuts are too wide on, on a lot of pieces I found some pieces that uh, there was a uh, a knot uh, right where the fastener needs, needs to be attached uh, I don't know why they consider that to be commercial grade that, that's like uh, the economy grade stuff uh, I'm really uh, not very pleased with this company. Um, I do have one right here. The foundation uh, came from uh, a man lake. It's not theirs. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's twisted. And I had several of them. Uh, that's how they come out when they're assembled. I've, I've uh, assembled uh, hundreds of these frames from uh, man lake and never had uh, this much trouble. I've got frames from another company that are built differently. And they're super strong. Uh, uh, you just about have to hammer them together. They, they fit so tight. And one staple in each corner, that's all you need. These, these I'm putting three, three to four staples on, on, on each half. Uh, I'm just wasting my material because uh, manufacturing is a questionable. And uh, anybody that wants to buy these frames, you're more than welcome to buy them from the, the uh, um, Dayton company here. But I don't think you're going to be very pleased with them. Uh, the build quality from uh, Man Lake is a lot better, and they're only uh, like five bucks more. So I don't, I don't care what they say about, uh, oh, we use a uh, high-quality Ponderosa pine. Well, maybe you do, but if you don't cut the stuff properly, it doesn't matter what you make them out of. You can make them out of iron, and, and if they don't fit right, they're not going to hold together. I'm afraid that when I start lifting these out, they're going to break. Everybody that has bees knows that the bottom board gets glued down with burr comb. And sometimes they're pretty darn tough to get out. This is kind of, kind of uh, my review on this. I think uh, you could do better somewhere else. I think you'd be better off to, to look at Better Bee or uh, some of the other uh, companies that are not as popular. Um, you yeah, have a good day.